So he who holds creation in his hand is born of the virgin. He who is essence cannot be touched is wrapped in swaddling clothes. He who founded the heavens lies in a manger. He who fed Israel in the desert with manna takes milk from the breast of his mother. Isaiah declares this child to be the son of God. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son. He shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. And later he says, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his kingdom shall have no end. This is the babe in the womb. And all creation today rejoices. And all creation offers gifts. The earth offers a cave. The wilderness a manger. The heavens a star. The shepherds wonder. The angels praise. The wise men, Melchior, Gaspar, and Belsavar. They offer gold frankincense and myrrh. Gold because he's king. Frankincense because he's God. And myrrh because he will sacrifice his life for the salvation of the world. We humanity also offer a gift. Our gift is the virgin. What shall we call her? Paradise? For he is the divine plant. The latter? For she allows us to ascend from earth to heaven. The altar, for sits upon her the king of glory. A chalice, for in her blood she gives the blood to Christ, which will cleanse us from our sins. The paten, for on her sits the bread of life, the life which we will take and eat for life everlasting. Heaven we call her, because she bears the son of righteousness. Do we call her a temple? Because she contains the uncontainable God. So what today is our offering? Sometimes we come and we don't have much to give. Sometimes we all can only can offer our weakness. Sometimes we come today and just offer concerns. We're full of concerns. But God gives back to us with that offering hope. Because he is the mighty God. He is the Prince of Peace. And the government is on his shoulders. There's always hope for us Christian people. Sometimes we offer, we can only offer sadness and despair. But he gives back to us joy. For the kingdom, his kingdom is not of this world. We're in this world, but not of this world. He is Emmanuel, brothers and sisters, God with us. We can offer, too, a thanksgiving. For God is with us. He's with us in all circumstances. In every situation, God never departs from us. We need to understand that and take great comfort in that. No matter what we do, Personally, wherever our world is, whatever the situation is, God is with us. But today, perhaps the best gift we can give is our heart. Perhaps today, God can be born afresh in you. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Steady me with a guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways and the hippies shall be converted unto thee. Create in me, God, today a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Christ is born. Christ is born. Glorified. 
Christ is born. Glory. May born, be born afresh in each of us this day. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.